Hiya guys, Spectre here. Um, back with some more spook talk. This is um, the 1st of June today. So it should be now about our uphill trend towards the end of the year. Because these months generally do better than the um, first five. Excluding March, because March was quite a good month. Um, this was actually our most subscribed month ever. At over 40 subscribers. Um, the views and watch time weren't the highest they've ever been. Like it's ever been, but they're back to roughly back to the numbers they were before the drought of April. So they're starting to like normalize, and then hopefully now we're going to start to increase. And um, we've got a lot of sh more shorter videos coming, so you'll have videos between 10 and 15 minute mark, and then some between 15 and 20. You won't be seeing the much longer videos anymore. You might get an odd one over 20 minutes, but you're not going to see a lot of them anymore going forward. Um, I'd also like to say thank you to our members for supporting the channel since we got on the YouTube Partner Programme on the 6th of May last month. So thank you very much guys for those who have already become members. I appreciate it very much. Um, and I'd like to say a big thank you to my mum, my brother Mark, his girlfriend Rachel, who I consider my sister, and um, uh, Overlord. Overlord had designed this little idea with um, my channel link on a QR code and handed them out at like a gaming convention and uh, people can scan the QR code and it would basically take them to the channel so they could subscribe which is really cool and my mum put the word out in a big way so did Rachel and passed them out to their friends and stuff to get us over that 500 subscriber mark so I could apply for the YouTube partner program so we've got a huge influx of subscribers without them it would have been a bit of a meh month it would have been about 18 subscribers, I think. 18, possibly 20. So it had still been lower than January, but it had been better than April or February. But um, the point is it got us where we need to be. It got us over that mark. I've completed all the application processes for the partner programme. Just the last one now, which is basically when you get, when you're eligible for your first payout, you're then able to put in like your bank details. So that's just something that will come with time, basically. That's not something I need to race towards. Um, but yeah, it's starting to trend back up, which is good. We've got a bunch of new content. I've had some new games bought from the community again, because they're a generous bunch, they are. Um, Cal got a cluster protocol, which is like a really high def version, like Dead Space or something. So that's on the playthrough list. But um, not immediate, it'll be further down the line. Uh, there is a game that Jamie bought me, which is called Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which is based on the movie, but they made a game out of it. It's kind of like with Friday the 13th, and it's got a lot of things like in it from Friday the 13th, which I'm glad for because that makes it a lot better than something like Dead by Daylight, which is like, you've got two gates, that's how you escape. It's like, fucking hell, it's so, so boring. They have all these years that they never added any other ways to escape in that game. Um, obviously the new game coming out is exactly that, it's new, so there's probably going to be some bugs stuff I'll have to fix. Like a moment you can't see default keybinds and they need to add in where you can change it to custom keybinds. Because I don't want to be using like shift to fucking crouch or run or whatever and control. I know that's how a lot of games have set them back in the day, but they're archaic now, they really are. Games need to come as standard with the, the ability to make your own custom keybinds and bind them to what keys you want. Because me having a 12 button mouse where I can attach them to my thumb is so much easier, so much more comfortable. All the, all the buttons I really want on the keyboards, my W, A, S, and D, and my space bar. That's it. Everything else can be on the mouse. Actually, them, them five buttons that I can easily press. Everything else sticking over there. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a lot of good games coming out. So. Although it's approaching to the some months where I suffer quite bad because I've got allergies, I get hay fever, I'm on top of asthma, breathing for me becomes quite an issue. But um, June should be the start of the uphill trend for the channel for this year. So the next seven months should hopefully be a lot better than, well, not just the previous five, but the previous seven. Because obviously the channel's bigger than what it were like last June. Last June I was probably, I think I was under under 300 subscribers probably under 200 they've been around about that ballpark so we've grown a lot since then really so hopefully it continues the way that it is doing 
and um, the growth picks up a bit because we need I think I mathed it out we need 67 subscribers a month to make a thousand subscribers by the end of the year which is a tall ask that is actually a tall order it's not impossible but it is it is a tall order but the growth needs to kick it in the ass a little bit um but we'll see we'll see what happens you know it can just take one video and it can all change it one video could net me thousands of subscribers you know you never know i've seen it happen with some channels and some channels aren't even actually that good in some cases and then some that stop making content like you know a year later so but me i'm not that kind i'm not going to stop making content it's what i want to do the rest of my life i'm your dad for the long haul but thank you guys again for your support this month it's been amazing and i will speak to you all in the next episode of Spook Talk next month. Take care everyone and have a great day.